here in Barnsley and the PDC Women's Series throwing for the ball Fallon Sherrick against Joe Locke Fallon's won the ball Fallon wins the ball so we are off and running and Fallon Sherrick's first final of the 2022 Women's Series 60 and Joe Locke has done really well to get here throwing some really good darts 100. But uh, Fallon will fancy this. Chris Murphy alongside me. It's um, a nice moment for her to, to get to her first final. Yeah, she's played in all the Women's Series events and reached the semi-finals four times without success at that point. But she was emphatic in her semi-final that we've just seen. 100. Joe Locke. A very good performance in getting here. And we mentioned at the start of the weekend that she'd be a dangerous 43. player. And she's certainly proven it. Fallon beat Aileen de Graff 5 1 in the first semi final. And then Joe Locke repeated the feat, beating yesterday's finalist, Rian Griffiths, 26. in the second. You just wonder, don't you, after seeing Lisa Ashton win both titles yesterday, whether that will be well, extra Andrew. motivation for Sherrick to go and do the same today. I think when there's two rivals in a series like this, they probably push, e push each other on. And um, 43. In a very good way, a very positive way. We just look at... You just look at... 78, yeah. Last year, Lisa won the first event. Fallon Sherrick won the next two. Lisa won the next two. Sherrick won the next two. Then Lisa won one. Then Fallon won yeah. one. Then yeah. Lisa won one. And Fallon won another. <laughs> and finally, Makuru Suzuki broke the trend in the last tournament, which actually Fallon didn't enter. Just to oh, confirm wow. here, Fallon is on 60 points. Yes. 20 for tops. Twenty. And Joe is on one nine one. So not on a finish anyway. 100. Well, she is now, but Sherrick has three clear darts at the top of the shop to take the first leg. That becomes two at tens. That becomes one at double five. And she pins it. Oh, that always hurts that little bit more, doesn't it? Look, thinking she might get a chance, but Fallon just slamming the door shut in her face. Fallon was teasing her. Yeah, 21. it must hurt when something like that happens and you get... Hopes built up. Only 21 for Joe Locke, so can Fallon cash in here? People used to 60. muse that Phil Taylor used to do that kind of thing. Miss a couple on purpose and then put it in with the last start. I'm not having any of that. No, neither am I. People used to. I bet it felt that way to some of his opponents because he never seemed to miss, did he? Well, sometimes you're watching Phil and you're thinking, well, this is just <sighs> relentless. 90. I think I mentioned the point yesterday, though, Chris, that I was the biggest fan, as big a fan as anybody, of the Phil Taylor domination. Um, 100 oh, look at that from Joe Locke. Brilliant. Big 180 from Joe. And when I first started in TV commentary darts in the mid-2000s, Phil was in his peak and completely dominating. But then you'd get finals that were all over in an hour. How many times did Terry Jenkins get to a final and couldn't get over the line? And that was frustrating. So the more players now that can win big titles, the better for me. And yeah. this will come in the women's game, I'm sure. Double ten for Joe Locke. Game shot. Nicely done. One apiece. Yeah, Fallon's not going to have it all her own way. She's just been informed of that by that leg from Locke. By the way, the draw has been done for the second tournament now live streamed matches in the first round two of them Josie Patterson against Jackie Wilkinson and then Joanne Dima against Donna Maria Rainsley who was responsible for the exit of Lisa Ashton in this event well yeah it'd be good to see Donna Maria on the on the live stream I, have any of those four played on a stream before on a live stream before yeah, I've seen Josie before you have yeah um, and I think yeah I have seen Donna Maria a couple last year or two years ago so for Jackie Wilkinson and Joanne Deemer it's a huge moment a huge moment perhaps for Joanne Locke here she's got yes. 141.80 against the Sherrick darts and that came out of the treble 18 that would have left Fallon Sherrick a finish it's all going Locke's way right now 
First to five in the final, but Joe Locke has had what can only be described as a nightmare, and she only hits seven. Just as you were saying, Chris Murphy, that Joe Locke gives herself a great Check. opportunity. Here comes Fallon Sherrick. What a response from perhaps an angry Fallon Sherrick. Well, Joe Locke had every chance there, uh, misfired completely. Anyway. And Fallon Sherrick was given an inch and took a mile. It's as simple as that. Double 18. Eight scored. So down the board for Joe Locke. 91 for a break of throw. Yep. Yeah. 74 remaining. Now 32 oh. remaining. Well. 75. Wow, I thought a double 16, that was a great opportunity. And now nines for Fallon. One dart left. Can she use that as a guide? No, that's wayward from Fallon Sherrick. This for a break of throw and a 2-1 lead for Joe Locke against Fallon Sherrick. One dart left in hand. Can she squeeze it through? No. Wow. Missed opportunity. Surely now Fallon will pin this for double nine. Well, Can now she can't finish. It. Ten. So Four. Locke gets more chances. Double eight. And Ten. finally Locke gets over the line in the leg. And she breaks Fallon's throw and puts herself in pole position. Great darts from Joanne Locke. Leads Fallon Sherrick by two legs to one and has the throw for a 3-1 lead 100. in a race to five in this final of event three of the PDC Women's Series for... 2022 and uh, event four by the way as Chris Murphy has just mentioned will get underway imminently and on our live stream board Josie Patterson against Jackie Wilkinson first match on, on and that would be pretty quickly after this final Fallon Sherrick facing an uphill battle here 60 as mentioned before the only players to have beaten it been Dee Tedman, Lisa Ashton and Lorraine Wynn Stanley at Women's Series events, but Joe Locke looking to add her name to that list and actually looking Morning. to be one of an even smaller group of players that have beaten both Fallon Sherrick and Lisa Ashton at the Women's Series. 100. What an honour that would be. And she's been very dominant in a run to this final. Has dropped just four legs in getting here. A 4-1 win against Debbie McBride kicked off this run. She then had whitewash victories against both Joanne Aldershaw and Tracy North, and then 4-1 successes against Astrid Traubost and Laura Turner before that semi-final 5-1 thumping of Rian Griffiths. 23. These are good darts from Joe Locke. Really good darts. Great switch for the treble 19 as well to score a 177 and leave double 12 for a 3-1 lead. 92. Well, this could be huge. Double 12. And she gets it. And Joanne Locke now has piled the pressure on Fallon in this final. She leads 3-1 and is two away from becoming just the fifth ever winner of a Women's Series event. 48. And put herself right in the mix in the uh, order of merit. Just by reaching the final. Huge moment for her, but in a great position against Fallon Sherrick here now. Fallon's going to have to dig deep from here. Short well, format, we remind so. you. And uh, Joanne Locke is leading her by three legs to one. And it's first to five. 60. Just had a quick look at some of the ties in the draw for the next, the final event of the weekend. And I can confirm that once again, Fallon Sherrick and Lisa Ashen are in opposite half of the draw. So if they are going to meet today, it will have to be in the final. Well, 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 there you are. That's a fascinating bit of news on the draw for event four, our final event of the weekend here in Barnsley.
Tell you what, Natalie Gilbert's 64. impressed this weekend. She reached the quarterfinals today, but she's been handed stinkers her first yeah. round draws every time. And again, Rihanna Sullivan oh, in the no. opening round. <laughs> For Gilbert, who just cannot get a break. But look, you make your own look, and she's done that today. So fair play to her. That's on board too. As Nigel says, the action will get underway for event four immediately after this one. So it's Gilbert O'Sullivan. Yeah, again. again. Don't start singing again, Murph, will you? Nice, sir. We've got a final to get through here yet. Yeah. Double 16 important, absolutely important for Fallon to hold. 3-2, Joe Locke leads, but can she hold a throw here to go within one of winning event three? 45. The big, big difference, I guess, despite being the junior player in terms of age, is that Fallon Sherrick had just got so much more experience in Closing out tournaments, winning finals, performing at pressure moments. But the lock lead just makes it a very, very interesting end to this event. Yeah, but only 45 and 58 for Joe Locke so far. 99. 84 for Fallon, followed by a 99. There's the ice cream man outside. 25. And could it be that this match could be about to turn in Fallon Shaddock's favour? A trouble 20 needed here and pins Eight it with the last dart. D didn't you just know it? Yeah, it looks like she might be making a move. Lock just labouring a little bit well in this leg. That will please her to have finally found a treble. And Fallon Shaddock is going to be disappearing into the distance. Oh. Look at that, what a time for a 180 from Fallon Sherrick. Absolutely perfect. Right place, right time to hit the lot and set oh, herself wow. up for an opportunity to break back for three apiece and then have the darts for a 4-3 advantage. Top she needs and top she gets. What a moment. And Chris, moments like that can turn a match on its head. Yeah, and we were just talking about it, weren't we? The experience at this stage, the ability to perform under pressure. And when the pressure was piled on by Joanne Locke, Fallon Sherrick responded. That 180 set it up quite beautifully. 3-1 yeah, down, Fallon, remember. The 55 finish and then a 140 to kick off this leg. 30. And it looks like it's knocked Locke. You can see there the expression. She knows that she put herself in a really good position. And now Fallon has reassumed pole position to go on and win this final and win what would be her eighth 81. women's series title. But her first in three events this this year, indeed, this weekend. Yeah, her and Lisa Ashton, of course, had the same amount of events before, so she's looking to catch her up by winning both of them. And who would put it past her? Reef 205. Joe won't three. give up, far from it, of course. But if Fallon holds throw here, Joe Lock knows that she's in trouble. 96. And Fallon will want the job done in the next leg before moving on to event four. Leaves 109. Fallon Sherrick, will she go out with the 109? 100. She is going to have six darts if needed. Trouble 19 would leave double 16. 18 is the route. Sam. So leaves 52. When she comes back, and Fallon will be back. And Joe here just. 41. Probably knowing that this leg is probably gone now. 15 scored. 15 scored, 37 left. 5 double 16? Yep. 36. Well, that's a little bit messy from Fallon Shaddock, and she's fortunate that Joe Locke is back on 166. Yeah, shouldn't matter. She had been flying up until that point over the last couple that of hit. legs. But if she lands the double eight, it puts a one away from the win. She can work off that. Game shot. She finds the bottom of the bed and edges ahead. One in front and one away from the title. And Fallon Cherokee is...
producing one of her best performances of the day at the right time. And again, we discussed that during the semi against Aileen de Graff. She hadn't even averaged as high as 80 up until the semi-final. Since then, she switched it on. Almost yeah. 90 in that 5-1 victory against de Graff. She's averaging around 85 here. But it's the couple of legs in the middle of the match when she found herself 3-1 down, where she really did just wow. seem to flick the switch. And we saw Super Sherrick. Nice turn from Joe there. She could take us to a deciding leg here. 99. But uh, 99 again scored by Fallon Sherrick that time. But Joe Locke, if she holds a throw here, it's all down to a sudden death leg to decide who wins event three. Should mention that Fallon will have the advantage of the throw. Fancies a 180 here, doesn't she? Yes, she does indeed. And what a time to hit the maximum there from Fallon Sherrick. 58, 99, and then a 180. But Joe Locke responds with two treble 20s to leave 95. Treble 18 here would we'll give her a shot of the bolt. What a closing out of the match that would have been. 180 followed by a 164 checkout. All it's about. 96. Yeah, sorry, Chris. All about the setup now. Yeah, well, instead, Locke gets a chance to stay in it. 95. Nine off it. Yep. So 86. Treble 18. Can't no. be found. So the setup is there and the title is there for Fallon Sherrick. 68 needed. 16 leaves double. Eight leaves tops. Okay, Top she man. gets, okay. and Fallon Sherrick gets her first victory of 2022 in the Women's Series. It was a good effort by Joe Locke. She was 3-1 up, so Fallon has won four legs on the bounce to take the title. Event three is won by Fallon Sherrick.